Hi, my name is Suzanne Grandy. I am a certified master groomer and I like to share my passion for grooming with you. This is Gracie, a Yorkshire Terrier, and her owner likes to dress her. And since her hair has been getting longer, it's getting caught up in the dresses. So we're going to take her body a little bit shorter. She is one of those Yorkies whose hair flips up in the pants area here, and when you trim it, it looks terrible. So I'm gonna keep that area longer. Her owner is not a fan of the fusion style trims where it's real tight on the body with the flared out legs. So we're going to give her a trim that hopefully will be the right balance for all of her needs. So to do that, I'm just going to comb her hair without a part. And it's natural growth pattern. Keep it laying down, not back combing it at all. And I'm going to use a Oster Yellow Snap-on Comb. This is a 5 8 inch and see how this goes. See if it takes off the right amount of see how this looks now. Okay. That's looking pretty good. going to do the sides. All right, so now that the clipper work is done, I'm going to take some seven inch scissors. These are Jaguar Golds, and I'm gonna create her underline. I wanna keep this flowy hair on her back legs, and I want to set her tuck up in the right place. So I'm gonna angle this up 
towards the last rib. I never pick up the leg to trim a Yorkie's front leg under here. I always keep the leg down and in place, otherwise you'll end up with a problem with coloring. I would demonstrate it for you, but I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> I don't want her hair to look short, so I am not taking the legs short. Even though her owner does not like the bell bottom look, you can still keep a nice full leg without the bell bottom look. I also do not pick this leg up and comb this down and trim it, as that also ruins the coloring. You end up with a line that you do not want. So I keep the leg down when I do that. Keep the hair where it would naturally fall. Good girl. That's very nice. Biggest thing to remember in trimming Yorkies is keeping your transition of colors flowing naturally. Good girl. Let's see, here are some lines from the snap-on comb that I have to fix. Okay, come here. He's a good girl. Stay. Stay. Girl, can I have kisses? Thank you. I love those rocky kisses. Yes, I do. Back to work. Good girl. So when I lift up this leg, I can see the hair that I need to snip up under here but I don't do it from the same side. I do it from the opposite side. Like I would want to trim this, but I can't because the colors would mess up. So I would be very tempted to comb this up and scissor it. But if I do, what I wanna do is comb it up and let it fall back. And whatever's out of place, as it starts to fall back down is where I want it. Same with back here. I don't want to get carried away in cutting any of the silver hair. I'm going to push all that forward and just cut the tan. Uh -uh. Okay.
and then the front side. Now this part I can comb up and I can trim both colors evenly around. But this that falls here, I want to comb it back down where it goes. And then if any gets trimmed, it's going to be from the inside. Good girl. Good. Now I'm going to use my thinning shears. Go back over it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my comb. Pull the hair up. Use my thinning shears and snip it off. Not in the areas of the legs that I did not trim, just on the body. The hair up top here, you can grab up between your fingers on the top line. Good girl. Make sure it all matches. Just like people hair, because Yorkie hair is a lot like people hair. It's very fine, very silky. Good girl. Still staying away from those hips. I can do the top line between my fingers. And the sides keep the hip hair. Pull the sides up. Snip off the top. It's kind of like feathering with a person's hair. So I'm feathering it down. And when it comes down, The hope is, is to have it smoother looking. And that's a good girl. Take my thinning shears, go over some of these areas. on the other side under there I want to get from this angle. Take care. So now we're going to do the same thing here. Fluff it up a bit. Take my comb. Bring everything up. Make sure it matches to the top line. Away from the hips. You only want to do this after the dog is clean and blow dried. Blow dry your Yorkie straight from the tub. Never let it sit wet or dry on its own. And never cage dry. I can see an area here that needs help. So I'm going to bring just that area up. Do a little thinning on it. Let it fall. That's better. Now this area right here, it's a little long, but I want to be careful how I trim it. So I'm going to just pull it out and pull it up and take off a little length from way up here and let it fall back down. This one I want to touch. Let's see. If I do, what I'm going to do is take just that piece. I'm going to pull it way forward, way up. 
take it from up here and then comb it back in place. Right here. And it's better. This side. <laughs> you got the cutest little face. Okay, so see this fluffy hair right here? I'm going to get rid of that. Bring it up and forward. And just this little bit here is what I'm taking to make the biggest difference. Come it back down and in place. This little piece here. Come it up and forward. You can see the light fluffy there. Get that. Drop it back down. And it's laying better. Now at this point, I can see if there's anything left up under here that I can get without messing it up. Girl, you want to work on the face for a minute? Does you, does you want to work on the face for a minute? Yeah, it's kind of messy, isn't it? Okay. So I'm really liking her face about the length it is. Just going to round it up a hair. So it's in balance with the body. These are V3 thinning shears. Masuta. Yeah. This is a Chris Christensen face comb. It's five inches long. It's very nice for these little areas around the face. And then you can just look at it from different angles. You can see back here. And down on the lower leg needs help. Ears. Are they pretty? Are your ears pretty? Yes, they're very pretty. Yes, they're very pretty. Yes, and you're very pretty. Yes, you're very pretty. She likes that word, doesn't she? Oh, she likes that pretty word. She likes that pretty word. Yes, she does. Oh my goodness, she does. Oh. See what I mean about these hips? I didn't even touch them. See how they flip out? <laughs> they got flippy hips. Flippy hips. Okay. Back to work. Back to work. Yes. Back to work. 
I know if it's good girl. She's a good girl. I love her. Yes, I love her. I do. I'm going to take a little bit of iGroom detangling spray and mist it on her. Take out any static that might be in her hair from all this stuff, from all this blow drying and all this work that we do on her little bodies. Yes, because she's got the cutest little bodies. So this little area that was flipping up, I am going to maybe do something with it. As soon as I do, I'll regret it. I will, I'll regret it. So one thing with this Yorkie hair, I keep combing it and recombing it, seeing what falls out of place in its natural way. Let me see. You need a little shape here. Yes, you do. what to do with those Yorkie tails. Some people like them long, some people like them short, some people like a little curly cue, some people like it like a short terrier tail. All kinds of ideas. For me, I typically blend it about the length of the body. So if the top of the back is very short, unless it's a fusion style trim, I will leave it very short like if it's a Westie style. If it's a fusion style with the very flowy legs, I'll leave it long and flowy like a ponytail. If it's a trim like this, it's basically the same length as the body. If it's a long coat, the tail stays very long. So it's all Owner preference, groomer preference, variables. Whenever you get away from a breed's actual hairstyle, which for this breed it would be long and flowing, anything goes. You can do whatever you want, whatever the owner wants. So for my grooming in my store, this is a 5 8 long puppy trim with a medium length beard and a tassel top top knot. What I mean by tassel top is she does not have a long flowing top knot. It looks like a little tassel, like a palm tree. And that way when it's up in a bow, it doesn't fall over in her face. I usually keep it trimmed just enough so you can still see the bow clearly. And you know, she's neither too long or too short, and this is a very popular hairstyle. So thank you for watching. Say goodbye. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see you again next time. Be sure to check out askagroomer.com and like Ask a Groomer on Facebook. Click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video.